shall reflect on the life of Saints Andrew Kim, Paul Chong and companions. The Christian faith first sprouted in Korea when Yi Sung Hoon started to study Christian doctrine by himself and was eventually baptized as Peter in 1784. In the beginning, because of their belief in God, the early Korean Christians were constantly persecuted, rejected by their own families and subjected to loss of not only their social rank but even their fundamental human rights. Nevertheless, the faith continued to spread. The Christian community in Korea, which had begun without any priestly ministers, finally got the assistance of two Chinese priests and another 40 years passed before the Paris Foreign Mission Society began its work in Korea with the arrival of Father Mobant in 1836. Until then, the Christian community consisted only of lay people. In the meantime, moved by an ardent desire for the graces of the sacraments, the Christian community of Korea appealed to the bishops of Peking and to the Holy Father in Rome to send them bishops and priests. Serious dangers awaited those missionaries who dared enter Korea. In fact, until the granting of religious liberty in Korea in 1886, there was a multitude of disciples who shed their blood in imitation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who submitted to death joyfully for the salvation of the world. More than 10,000 martyrs died in persecutions which extended over 100 years. They included 103 martyrs consisting of 11 priests and 92 lay people who were canonized on the 14th of May 1984 by Pope John Paul II, foremost among these being Andrew Kim Taegon and Paul Chong Ha Sang. Andrew Kim Taegon, the first Korean priest, prompted by his faith in God and his love for the Christian people, found a new way to achieve the difficult task of making a missionary entry into Korea. However, within 13 months of his priestly ordination, he was put to death by the sword. Barely 26 years old, and the oil of chrism still fresh on his hands. Paul Chong Ha Sang, Augustine Yu Ching Gil, and Charles Cho Xing Chol had made several visits to Peking, seeking more effective ways of introducing missionaries into Korea. Since the persecution of 1801, there had been no priest to care for the Christian community. Finally, they succeeded in opening a new chapter in the history of the extension of the church in Korea with the arrival of a bishop and some priests of the Paris Foreign Mission Society. Among the 103 martyrs were 15 virgins, including the two sisters Agnes Kim Hoiju and Columba Kim Huyun who loved our Lord with undivided hearts. These women, in an era when Christian religious life was unknown in Korea, lived in community and cared for the sick and for the poor.